Hello, welcome to The View from Feleban. I'm here with Marcus Bruchis, uh, who is the uh, General Director for Financial Institutions at the IFC, the uh, International Finance Corporation, which is part of the World Bank. So, Marcus, thank you for being with me today. We were talking earlier about the changing nature of banking. Give me some details. Well, I mean, in, uh, from my perspective, uh, banking is undergoing the biggest transformation it's gone through during the last uh, 75 years. The whole nature of the banking business is changing. I mean, we are, I mean, following the, the huge crisis of 2007-2008, uh, I mean, the level of regulation is reaching uh, uh, a point where a lot of traditional businesses that the banks were involved are either no longer feasible or the capital requirements of uh, the new regulations uh, do not make them attractive. And uh, I mean, they are even now talking about coming with Basel IV, and that will generate more difficulties, particularly for banks in the emerging markets in areas such as trade. Uh, we have, uh, I mean, around 700 financial sector clients, a lot of those banks in the emerging markets, probably the largest network of uh, relationships of any institution in the world. So we are in constant contact with these clients and we are seeing that these clients in some countries are facing some difficulties. We know, for example, that there are countries already in, uh, in uh, the South Pacific or in the Caribbean that uh, no longer have any correspondent banking relationships. So this is uh, creating I mean, a very serious problem for banks. To that you have to add the fact that uh, I mean, we are living in an environment of very low uh, interest rates, particularly in the developed world. I mean, where you are seeing uh, global banks that are now uh, paying negative interest, or in other words, collecting uh, for keeping the people's money in the banks. And this is permeating as well to the emerging markets. The traditional banking business, which was simply getting a deposit paying for a deposit and then uh, lending the money at the spread is a business that was a traditional banking business and that is uh, changing because of the uh, international environment. And lastly, there is the entire revolution that is being brought upon by fintech. And, uh, and right now with peer-to-peer -peer lending and so forth, uh, the fintech the fintechs are beginning to capture traditional banking clients, particularly in the retail sector, and they are simply using the banks as white label providers of capital using the bank's balance sheet. But as we all know, I mean, the, where the money is made is by having the client, because once you have the client, I mean, you can uh, sell to the client a, 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 a credit card, but you can also, uh, uh, I mean, get give a mortgage. If the client resides in the fintech, he, I mean, the, the 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 fintech will decide where the mortgage goes and where the credit card goes, and the bank is left without the business. So, so what's the solution? What are you uh, offering? Uh, uh, to uh, to the various banks that I'm sure you're speaking to, especially here at Feliban. Okay, well, of course, one of the solutions for the banks is that they have to embrace technology. Uh, one of the things that uh, we're trying to do, we had a, a conference of CEOs of fintech companies in, uh, in Washington a couple of weeks ago, and one of the uh, things we're doing is we are connecting some of these fintech companies with banks. So we are on the one hand working with these fintech companies to find new technologies, but at the same time we are pushing traditional financial, financial institutions to embrace technology. Finally, if you look at the objectives that some of these fintech companies have is that they want some kind of an exit for what is a venture capital type investment and the banks are the natural takers of this technology. So this is one example, okay? But there will be some fintechs that will grow on their own and will be 
eating the business away from the bank. So some of the other areas, and this is uh, what we just presented here at Felaban, is uh, starting offering uh, different types of products and what very good example of this type of products have to do with uh, uh, sustainable uh, investments. Now, the traditional sustainable investments uh, are usually uh, around uh, uh, wind farms and, uh, and uh, uh, hydro and, uh, and solar. Now, these in general are binary opportunities for the banks. They can, uh, for example, we signed an agreement just yesterday with Banco Galicia to help with sustainable investments in the agribusiness sector, where through that uh, Banco Galicia is going to uh, finance tractors that have more efficient use of petrol or they are going to use machinery that uh, uh, I mean, uses less energy or uh, I mean, if, if you're talking of uh, chicken farms, lights that are uh, more efficient in the use of uh, electricity and so forth. So these are investments at the small and medium sized uh, company level that uh, could be a very good uh, investment uh, model for the or, or business model for the banks.